extremely high ambitions to be the next big space sim. Let's take a look at Dual Universe. To join me in talking about what we just saw, let's welcome from Nova Quark, Jean-Christophe Bailly. Hey, Bonjour. Jean. Welcome to the stage. Thanks. Now, right away, I mean, there's so many elements that we're seeing in that trailer. What is Dual Universe about at its core? Okay, so it's, it's a sci-fi MMO, obviously. And, and for me, you know, it's an old dream that I have as a gamer, and I think I'm not the only one. It's to build you know, this online virtual world where basically everything is possible, where you can build anything you want and yeah. become anything you want. So that's not a very new story. I mean, there have been a lot of games before uh, saying that. So what exactly do we bring? As you see in the video, the first thing is that you can't really build anything. You can build your ship, you can build your space station, you can build your house, your city, you can actually harvest uh, minerals from the ground in the, in the planets. Everything is editable. We've done a voxel, uh, voxel technology to do that. The second thing, which is very important, is that all this takes place in what we call a continuous single shard universe. That means that everybody plays in the same world at the same time. There's no instances, no loading yeah, screen, yeah. no you know, zone where you have to queue uh, and things like that. So if you want to have a huge city with, with uh, thousands of people in it, you can do that. Yeah. So there's a lot of technology to do this. And, yep. So, I mean, I gotta ask, there's a whole lot of space sim type games. I mean, there's already EVE Online, there's Elite Dangerous, No yep. Man's Sky people are buzzing about. How does Dual Universe fit in with those? How does it contrast with them? There are a lot of aspects of the gameplay we have that you will find in other games. But what yep. we do is we put everything together into this huge world that is shared by everyone. And it changes everything. Because if you build a ship, I mean, you can, perhaps you, you're gonna build a ship that's gonna be very successful on the in-game markets and it's going to be the ship that everybody pilots almost. So you can become famous, you yeah. can become rich, you can have your personal story. If you win a war, I mean, you can actually change the balance of power in this world. So everything has a meaning, everything is important, everything matters, and people are able to create this collective story together. And we've put a lot of emergent gameplay also in, in this. Yeah. So you can create political systems, you can create your economy, you can create your organizations, and a lot of things like that, so that people can really build up anything. So, I mean, uh, how, you're talking so much about player-to-player -player interaction. How do you keep everyone together? I mean, I, I assume that the universe is going to be large. It's just sort of classic in yeah. a space sim. Walk me through that. So you start, everybody starts at the same place, in the Ark ship oh, really? on the Elliot planets, and then you spread from there. Based on the technology you unlock, you will go further and further. So there's no limit to the size of the universe, but there's a limit to how far you're going to explore it. So that's one thing. The other thing is that we are concerned about, you know, creating quality content, because we don't create the content, players yeah. do. So the idea is that we, every force we put in the game, we put also a counter force, so that we have equilibrium emerging between the players. That's yeah, so the, you don't the just idea. have some weird break where the only correct thing to do in the game is do no, mining or something No, players are going like to choose what they, yeah. what they like and what they don't like, also through the markets in game. Uh, something that is uh, nice is gonna sell more, and if it sells more, then you're gonna see more of them. You know, it's that simple, like in real life, actually. Yeah. So when is this game going to be available? Ah. So we have a lot of work to do. So this is yeah. just a pre-alpha that we've seen. We hope to shoot an alpha, a closed alpha, at the beginning of 2017. 
So that's the schedule. Uh, until then, we're very fond of creating a large community of people talking with us, discussing with us the game. We really love that. We love the feedback. We already have people on the yeah. forums, in Twitter, Facebook. So that, that's, that's what we want to do. And we're going to launch also a community website, uh, which I oh, like. Cool. The idea is that you can create a character already. And you can also start to create an organization like, you know, Pirate Guild or something and recruit and start to role play uh, on this website. We're going to launch that in a couple of weeks. That's awesome. I mean, yeah. having the community focus always so important in this sort yeah. of game. And I'm really excited to see what Dual Universe brings as well. Ladies and gentlemen, Jean-Christophe Bailly from Nova Corp. Thank you for talking Thanks to us about Thanks. Dual Universe. Thanks.